Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here, and today I'm gonna show you 10 more things that you're probably doing wrong in Premiere. Let's go. How is it going guys? And welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that wanna shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here, I hope everybody's doing really well. Today I'm gonna to go through another 10 things that you're probably doing wrong in Premiere Pro. Let's go. First thing you're probably doing wrong is when you've got a bunch of clips after you've filmed and you want only segments from those clips in your timeline, what you usually do is set your in and out points with I and O, but then you drag that video down to your timeline. Well, there's an easier way. If you select a clip, say your in and out points and then press the comma key, that clip will just be added to your timeline. And then you could just do that for all your clips. It's gonna add that clip where the playhead is and it's even gonna nudge clips along and ripple move them. So that's really cool. Next is probably the most common thing we do as editors. If you wanted to copy and paste the clip, I will control C and then control V and that will copy it. But there's an easy way of doing that. If you click on the clip and then hold option or alt and drag that, that will just make a duplicate of a clip. Nice. Now this is a really cool one Adobe added a few versions ago. So you've got this music video and you want to make some kind of social media post, but you don't want to go through the whole thing frame by frame and cut out all the scenes. What you can do is right click and then go up to scene edit detection. And that's automatically going to detect all the cuts and just give you individual clips that you can use for your social media post. Done. Look at that. It'll even give you the option to create a bin with all these sub clips. So that's 108 cuts from this music video that I don't have to do. Thanks Adobe. This next one hopefully saves you a lot of time. Now, instead of adding individual effects to all these audio clips, you can come to your audio track mixer, click on this arrow right here, and right here in these slots, you can add all these effects that will affect each audio track. So say on audio track number one, I've got all these effects. All these effects are gonna affect everything on audio track number one. And the cool thing is, if you wanted to copy that, you can just simply right click, copy tracks, and then paste them onto another track. Let's take a quick break and let me tell you about our sponsor in Vault Elements. These guys are great. I use them all the time. I've actually subscribed to the yearly subscription and I find myself using them all the time for client projects and YouTube videos. They've got over 9 million assets, which sounds crazy. They've got stock videos, graphics, motion graphics, templates of all sorts for After Effects, Final Cut Pro, Premiere Pro, Photoshop. And if you think of any element that you would probably need for your videos, they've probably got it on their website. It's pretty unreal. Plus you get unlimited downloads and stuff is royalty free. So you can use it as much as you want. Also, they're running a great deal. If you follow the link in the description, you can get your first month for $9. Trust me, you don't need another reason. Just check it out. Let's get back to the video. Now this next move, you might do over a thousand times per edit and this might save you some time. Now, so we've got this long clip right here and we want to chop this middle clip. If I delete that and move this along, that will take me a second longer than if I made the cut, deleted the clip, and then if you press in the gap, it'll get highlighted. And then if you delete that, that will just move everything along. Next is what we call a top and tail edit. Right where your playhead is, everything to the left is your top, everything to your right is the tail. And by using the keys Q and W, Q will delete everything to the left of the playhead up to a cut, and W will do the same thing for the right. So say right here, we've got this cut right here. If I come up to this point, I wanna chop all this right here. All I have to do is press Q and that'll delete that. Same thing with this bit right here. If I'm gonna delete everything to the right up to this cut, just press W. And this is great when you're editing longer clips, especially when the guy on the mic is making a bunch of mistakes. This next one's gonna save you a bunch of space on your hard drives. After you've done with an edit, you can come up here where edit is and remove unused. What that's gonna do is just gonna remove all the unused clips that you didn't end up using in your edit. And this is great when you wanna save space, consolidate an edit, or send the edit to someone else to finish it off. Now you say you've started an edit and you're editing clips of different resolutions. This might save you some time. When you drag in a clip, you might get something like this. This is a 4K clip in a 1080p timeline. If you wanna adjust that really quick instead of coming up to effects control and adjusting the size, all you have to do is right click and set to frame size and that's automatically going to put it in the scale you need. This next one is more of a navigational tool. I use it all the time. If you want to adjust your tracks instead of adjusting the tracks with the little arrows right here, you can just press option or alt and the scroll wheel scrolling up or down. And then if you want to zoom in and out of your timeline, instead of using this right here, you can just press option or alt again and then scroll up or down. And then if you want to move horizontally, you can press command or control and scroll up and down. 
all those are little tips, but when you come to edit, it saves you so much time, trust me. And then last but not least, something that might save you a few seconds is when you've got all these bins open and you know you're staying organized, instead of clicking all the individual bins, what you can do is just press option and click on a bin and that will just collapse everything. So that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys got any tips or tricks that are your go-tos, drop them in the comments below. Like, subscribe, turn on the bell. We drop videos all the time. Check out the Envato link in the description. And if you want to say hi to me personally, Dave the Greco is my ID handle. Till next time, peace.